Morning, everybody. Rod from Firewood Midwest. A uh, little introduction to this video here. Uh, this is one I shot yesterday, opening morning of the Illinois 2022 firearm season. Uh, the wind was swirling yesterday, so I wanted to keep the uh, the windows closed on the blind. And to film through those windows really screwed with the camera. Uh, I had to set up the camera different, so there's some shakiness. Uh, having the windows closed led to some out of focus shots. Uh, some cameras moving on their own. I, I still don't understand that one. But uh, even though a lot of there's a lot of screwed up footage in it, and I missed a lot of footage, uh, there's still enough to make an interesting video. So I put one together, and here it is. So hope you enjoy. It. All right, how we doing, everybody? Uh, Rod from Firewood Midwest. Welcome. We are in the opening day of first firearm season here in Illinois, 2022. Uh, hunting with a muzzle loader today. Uh, it's windy. It's probably about 15, 20 mile an hour winds out of the west. We've got a draw behind us, a uh, field to the east in front of us. Uh, I was pretty sure that they was gonna be down this draw as windy as it is, is, as windy as it is to get out of the wind. So uh, this wind should work. Uh, just a minute ago, we had a doe come into the draw. I was watching her and a, uh, a nice buck come in behind her. He's not the biggest one we have out here, but he's he's pretty decent size. Uh, they wandered down through the creek and over on this side in the brush and I lost sight of them. I don't know where they're at now, so. But we'll hang tight, and uh, hopefully the next time he comes out, I'll remember to push record. <laughs> and you guys and you guys can be, be part of the hunt. But uh, it's still early. It's about 8 o'clock, 8.30. I'm not sure. But uh, got a lot of hunting left, so uh, hopefully she's coming in. And uh, she'll draw an even bigger buck in. So uh, we'll hope for the best. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I ain't doing very good today, fellas. I'm sitting here and I get a notification on my phone. And the notification is from my uh, trail camera. That's something to trip my trail camera over it's to the right of me by about oh 120 yards and uh so i go to check to to see what trip to trip the camera and i look and there's nothing there's nothing on it there's just scenery well i i swipe off of that just in time to look up and evidently the buck that triggered that trail camera. He come up right in my blind spot right here. And for the past hour, there's been about a hundred blackbirds in this field right here in front of me. I look up and this buck has just came out from my blind spot and he's right in front of me. He's probably 90 yards out, 80, 90 yards out. He's a nice one. All of a sudden, all those blackbirds spook. He takes a, he takes off jogging over here and he stops. I get my gun ready and he just walking. By the time I got the window open and got my gun ready, he's just heading over the edge of the hill over there. Hopefully he didn't go to the neighbors. Hopefully he went down, got on the edge of the field and is coming this way and he's gonna be in this draw here that I'm overlooking. But I'll tell you, he was he was a nice one. He was a nice one. Oh, God, I tell you. I should have had him. Should have had him. All right, fellas, well, I'm telling you, I'm batting a thousand. Uh, I didn't get footage of him again. That buck that 
and he come in the field up here in front of me, my blind spot. And those blackbirds, he spooked blackbirds, which in turn spooked him. He went to the north, and I was hoping that he didn't go in the neighbors. I was hoping he went down to where the fence is and then followed it this way. Well, he did. I believe it's the same buck. I imagine it's the same buck. But he's worked his way up this draw right here in front of me, up to the very corner. I, I just seen him real quickly head up there, and uh, he's in the brush. I think that they've bedded up there in the past, so I think that's where he's at now. So I guess it's just, hopefully I'll just outweigh him, and he'll uh, he'll come down to this draw here. Let me show you. I believe, if you see that, that oak tree right in the middle of the screen there with all the leaves on it. He's back behind there, bedded down. Right up there is where uh, I made a video earlier this year cutting up a tree right over there. I think he's bedded down right past where I, where I cut that tree up. So, uh, We'll just hang around and hopefully he'll come back out.
Well, that was that big 10. And I did not make a good shot. A little high, a little far back. I'm hoping I got some of the lungs. Uh, he didn't take off running, he stood there. And then he walked off. So, uh, I hit him high, there probably could be nothing for a blood trail. But hopefully I, hopefully I hit a good, hopefully I hit a good vein and I'll give it about an hour right before dark. I'll, I'll go over there and walk down and see if he's down there, see if I can pick up any blood anywhere. I'm kind of hoping that he'll work his way down the bottom of this draw and get a second shot at him. Uh, I had to reload my muzzle loader. So uh, that's why I could have got a second shot at him right there if I'd had a rifle or a shotgun, but I used a muzzle loader, so. And he was a little closer than I thought he was, so I hit him a little high. And I didn't stop him. I should have made a noise to stop him, but I didn't. That's why I hit him a little far back, so. But uh, hopefully it was good enough and he'll be down this bottom. Let me go look for him. right there going down fellas I cannot believe I got a second chance at that guy unbelievable unbelievable can you guys believe that shit 
he come out and gave me a second shot at him. And I turned my camera down so it don't it don't move as fast. And so you didn't get to see him go down over. He just he went down right over. I think you might have caught it, just the, the end of him going down there. I cannot believe I got a second chance at that guy. After that terrible, terrible shot I put on him the first shot. And to be honest with you fellas, I stared at him a little bit too long on that first shot. All right, fellas. He should uh, just be up here, right over this ridge here. Because he stopped and kind of turned around and I seen him, I seen him go down, so. There you go, fellas. Can you believe that? Can you believe he came back out and gave me another shot at him? I never would have got him. He would have he lived from that first one. High and back. I haven't went over there yet and checked to see if he butted any, but I, I bet he didn't. He hit the ground because it was a shock and he just got up and walked away. But them does, that one doe must be pretty close coming in because he wasn't going to leave her. And that's what, uh, that's what saved me from losing him. Nice 10. I got to be the luckiest son of a bitch there is. <laughs> this guy to come back out like that. Hell yeah. One buck down, I still got, I still got one more tag. One more buck tag.